In this episode of Game Shack, I'm going to give you some news from IR Arcade and At Games, and I'm going to go into the ongoing controversy that keeps on happening with Arcade One Up. All that and more coming up next. Hey everybody, it's JDV here for EvilGeniusEntertainment.com. Thanks for stopping into the Game Shack. I want to give out a big shout out to Lacrosse55, who has both been commenting a lot and he sent me some news that you're going to see a little bit later on in this episode. And a Bill over at Original Council Gamer. He has a great um, channel. You should go check it out. He has almost daily content. He has great takes, and if you like this sort of thing, go and check him out. I'm giving him a shout out, both because he has a great channel and because I won a contest over at his channel. Every thousand subscribers, he is going to give away a Nintendo Switch Lite, which I happen to win, and thank you very much. I'm gonna be giving it to my, uh, my my littlest girl who turns 11 this weekend, so she'll finally be able to play Minecraft. So big shout out uh, to you, Bill. And I'm not saying that just because I won, but if you want to have some good content and you want to have a chance to win a Nintendo Switch, go check out Original Console Gamer. Okay, so let me get into uh, the news as fast as I can. It's just the news just keeps on rolling through here. Um, but let me talk a little bit about IRK. They sent me um, an email indicating a couple of big things. Uh, first of all, a big new firmware update for owners of their cabinet. Um, it addresses a lot of small problems, but the biggest thing that it does, at least in my opinion, is that you will now, once you have this new firmware, you will be able to pause your download of firmware or games and come back and download them later. That's really big news for people like me who have really terrible, slow internet. Uh, so if you live in a rural area or for whatever reason your internet is not that great, this lets you start a download and then come back to it and finish it later, which I think is an awesome thing. Also, they're saying this weekend they'll have a new game available called Windjammers. I think that is from 1995. So they're adding um, another game to their library. And of course, they announced earlier this week that they'll have a retro mania themed cab available coming up, I believe, in April, or at least April is a delivery date. So good things from IRCade. Uh, some news from at Games, who announced that their pinball game that was going to be released, I think, uh, in May 10th, is now being pushed up to May 3rd. So they sent out emails to all of us who have pre-orders in, saying that they're going to get um, that pinball game a week early. Now, is that just, hey, they're very, very confident in their delivery, or is this a thumb in the eye to Arcade 1UP, who, as we will see coming up, is having some problems? I'm not sure. But I think that is a good, confident feeling from that company. Now, that said, they're going to be in a world of hurt if they end up having any kind of delay off of that, um, having made some big promises right now, or if they fail to fulfill waves one through three in the upcoming month of March. But we will see. But fingers crossed. You should be getting your game a week earlier. And lastly, from At Games, they are going to have another customer appreciation contest this Sunday. Uh, they had some snafus, as I reported, uh, on February 14th, Valentine's Day. Um, some existing owners could not jump into the contest. That should be fixed for this Sunday. I am a new owner of their uh, little puck core thing. I got that loaded up, and I'll have a review of that coming up soon. So hopefully I'll be able to join in the contest and leaderboards and stuff like that. So look for me over there, JDV, at, um, uh, at games this weekend. Uh, in terms of other uh, news, there's nothing new from Toy Shock. I went over to their Facebook page. Nothing new in terms of announcements. We're still looking at, I guess, a late March, early April release date of their Haunted House game uh, version three. So I'll let you know more if I hear anything on that. And Well Played uh, Virtual Pinball Game is still available over at Best Buy for $500. Clearly there has not been a giant demand for that. I don't know if it's because the lack of branding, lack of DMD or the price, lack of haptic feedback, uh, things like that. But anyway, that game is still available if you are interested. All right, let's talk about Arcade 1UP and their very bad, not so great month and week. Um, <laughs> 
that they've had. They've had a real rough um, month of February, both because their initial delivery date, their second delivery date of Star Wars and Marvel got pushed back to March. I think everybody knows that by now. And now we have some controversy in terms of Mortal Kombat. I'm going to get into that in a second. And in terms of the Star Wars and Marvel pre-orders, uh, most people are still expecting to get either a March 9th delivery date for the Marvel or the March 14th or 15th, I forget which, for Star Wars. But I've heard reports now that the some people who have pre-ordered the Star Wars game are now being told that they won't get it until New Year's Eve of this year. And that lines up with when you look at a lot of the, the expected delivery date now for whenever those pre-orders for the three pinball games become live again, they're saying not to expect uh, both Best Buy and at games they have on their 1231 delivery date. That is also um, in terms of attack from Mars, uh, what some people are being told, or at least that was when that game is going to be shipped as well. And some people, of course, have reported that their attack from Mars pre orders have simply been canceled completely. I reported that in my last video, and a lot of you guys have reported in saying that no, we still have our pre orders in for Attack from Mars. And thanks to everybody who reported that as usual. I want to try to be as factually accurate as possible. I'm not trying to make anybody mad or gin anybody up. I just want to, you know, report the news as I get it. But almost everybody, in fact, I think everybody who says that they still are on the pre-order list for Attack from Mars is either a, a Best Buy Rewards Club member or they ordered it through PayPal. So I wonder if that might have something to do with why their orders weren't pre-canceled. I don't know. I don't know for a fact that the Star Wars games are being delayed for some people until New Year's Eve or the Attack from Mars have been canceled. That's just what's being reported. I don't know why anybody would fake that or lie about it. So I do tend to believe it. Um, but there's at least some people saying that no, their pre-orders are still good for Attack from Mars, although there has been no uh, release date yet. So they might be, be told at some time that, yeah, your pre-order is good for Attack from Mars, but don't expect it until New Year's Eve. Don't be shocked if that happens. I am still, I haven't been told anything different. In terms of my pre-order for Star Wars, apparently it's still on for the 14th or 15th. But that might change, and I'll let you know if it does. So the controversy about their pinball game remains. Um, clearly, the demand is there for it, and clearly you cannot order it now. If you haven't ordered it, you won't be getting it for sure until New Year's Eve of this year, and most likely until um, 2022. And even if you have pre-ordered it, it looks like you might not get it until next year, or you might just see your order canceled altogether. So that's not great news from Arcade One Up. Also not great news is a controversy regarding their Mortal Kombat Legacy game. Um, there's a few things about this game that's controversial. One, as and I already talked about it, is the inclusion of some three and four player games, Gauntlet uh, being one of them, and uh, I think Rampage is the other one. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense on this cab. Now, the raised sort of edges on the controller deck, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense for this cab. And more importantly is the fact that it was available for pre-order at Best Buy and GameStop only to almost immediately sell out and not be available. Um, flash forward a day and it became available again at Best Buy only to immediately go out of stock. It's as I record this, the second wave of pre-orders is still available at GameStop, but that might not be true anymore. So let's kind of back up a little bit. I went to the Best Buy, uh, you know, website today and I looked at it and it was briefly available for sale. But if you look at it close, yes, you could pre-order it, but they're saying that you should not expect delivery of Mortal Kombat until you guessed it, New Year's Eve of this year, which of course is lining up with all these, you know, the pinball games and some other things that we've heard about. So 
you know, they're really kicking that can down the road. But you contrast that with GameStop, which is still available, and it says that you should expect a delivery of Mortal Kombat Legacy on March 19th. So when it was available at Best Buy, they were saying, you know, essentially next year delivery date. Then it became unavailable at Best Buy, and as far as I know, it is still not available at Best Buy. It was available at GameStop, not available at GameStop, now available again at GameStop. Not so fast. I decided to go and check one last time on GameStop's website just to make sure that Mortal Kombat was still available for sale before I uploaded this to YouTube and no, it's not. So I couldn't even finish this video before it went out of stock again. So in other words, the, the game has not been for sale less than 24 hours and it's already unavailable. Uh, I believe that the Street Fighter Legacy Edition was available for something like eight days before it sold out. So either um, Arcade 1UP is vastly underestimated the level of interest in this cabinet, or Mortal Kombat just has that many more fans than Street Fighter, at least for this particular cabinet. It's really hard to say which, but it's for sure going to make some even more people upset. I don't know if it's going to be in stock again at GameStop, um, but again, it looks like at Best Buy, if you order it, it won't be available until New Year's Eve of this year. Why is there such a gap between the amount of product available and the, the demand for that product? Well, there, in my mind, there are only two explanations. One, is that the company has grown so fast in the last three years that they simply cannot come up with uh, the demand for all of the product and that they have um, really put out a lot of different product. And that is undeniable. Besides the sort of one and two player stand-up cabinets that they made so many of in the, those first two years, they have also now introduced an infinity game table that you can play board games on. They have the giant joystick um, games. They have now the new legacy cabs. And of course, they have the pinball games. And just to mention some of the products that they've expanded into. Um, so not only are they offering more cabinets, they are offering more than just cabinets. So they have a very wide and varied different sort of lineup that you can get from that company. When you combine that with COVID, um, some instability in terms of China, or at least their ability to ship here, you combine that with a very wild February uh, winter weather here in this country, and you can see why there could be some delays. You may or may not excuse them for offering products that they don't have a lot of, but at least it is a rational explanation. Now, they have not said one way or the other why the products um, are, are delayed or in small numbers, but it, at least it, it's something. The other, of course, explanation is, no, they ought to know better. They should know that there's going to be a lot of demand for these pinball games. You certainly ought to know that there's going to be a strong demand for a 12-game uh, Street Fighter cabinet and a 12-game Mortal Kombat cabinet, both with new art and new uh, designs. You really should expect and be able to predict in pretty accurately how much demand there's going to be for those cabinets. I find it very... Uh, maybe not shocking, but it is very interesting to me that I cannot right now go and buy that Street Fighter cabinet. I would like to buy that Street Fighter cabinet right now. You know, I got a little extra cash. I want to have a two-player fighting cabinet. Um, you know, I want to have, you know, 12 games. I don't necessarily want to mess around and, and do any kind of hacking to it or modding. I just want to have that cabinet, and I cannot buy it. The closest thing I can buy right now is the three-game older uh, Street Fighter cabinet that, you know, no, I, I don't want that cab. I want the 12 and 1. I want the newest version of that cabinet. And I can't buy it. Well, why not? Right? How, how, how do they not know that there's going to be a pretty strong demand for that Street Fighter cabinet? How can they sell out? And yet they have. 
So is it intentionally done? Certainly other companies have intentionally limited supplies in the past to drive up customer uh, fervor or lather for the product to get free publicity as they certainly have. Uh, maybe their philosophy is any publicity is good publicity. Negative publicity is still publicity. It still makes us number one. And it, it, it seems like there's such great demand for our product that it, it immediately evaporates. Um, maybe it is intentional because it is hard to think that they could not have realized that they're gonna, if they make X amount of Street Fighter units, that they're gonna be able to sell all of those units. Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat um, got to be in the same league, at least, as Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man, right? I mean, those are very, very popular titles. Um, titles so popular that they get movies made out of them, including the new Mortal Kombat movie coming out this year. Obviously, there is going to be a high demand for these cabinets, and yet the supply is not going to be there. And if you look at Best Buy, won't be there until New Year's Eve of this year. I wonder what the effect of this is going to be. I mean, they've had almost a month now of, of straight negative publicity of people trying to get cabinets that can't. Um, and, and it isn't just a Mortal Kombat cabinet. It isn't just the, the, you know, the virtual pinball cabinets. It's other cabinets. It is Street Fighter. It is some of these other games that people want. Like right now, if you want a Golden Axe cab, too bad. You're not going to be able to find it. So is all of this ultimately going to keep people from buying the cabinets? I mean, my initial reaction, having seen that the Mortal Kombat cabinet sold out so fast is, well, you know, F you guys, you're still gonna buy our crap. <laughs> it doesn't matter how, how much we delay, it doesn't matter how much we don't explain our actions, you suckers are gonna buy it anyway. Well, certainly if you look at the comments of my videos and some other people's uh, videos, there is a lot of anger right now. Either way, I do think that Arcade One Up at some point has got to address this. Um, you know, either by John D going back on shows or a, a big email or something like that. All right, anyway, that wraps up the month of February and wraps up this episode. If you like this show, please give me a thumbs up. It really does help. Thanks to everybody who has been commenting. I have really enjoyed that. The passion of the people um, in this community or for these games has really been amazing to me and I'm glad that I have been doing these videos. Please um, love each other and until next time, I'll see you guys in the Game Shack. Mwah! Arcade one up. <sighs> Giant, trying to love you. Be sure to visit EvilGeniusEntertainment.com for exclusive content, swag, casting call news, and much, much more.